Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my new video tutorial. My name is Prudence. Today I will show you how you can make your own quest like I did in my map Border Night. I would say let's go. So guys, we're in the game right now. It's a little bit hard to explain, but I will try to explain it step by step so you understand the whole mechanic and how the channels work and everything. So we need something uh, we can collect the quest from. Let's take this claptrap, put it over here. Maybe make him a little bit bigger. Then we need something, uh, what our quest is about. Let's take this computer. Put the computer over here. And our first device is the button. Let's place it over here. We're taking this button. Put it on the claptrap and on the computer. So we're going to the button and uh, let's make it here. Uh, time can trigger once when interacted with transmit on channel one. So now we're going to the second button. What we do here is we also go here. Times can trigger to once and enable uh, when received from channel one and when interacted with transmit on channel two. So if you press the first button on the claptrap, the second button will get activated and you can interact with it. And if you press it, the quest is done and you can get your reward here. The second thing we need is uh, a billboard. Place it here. Let's go to the billboard, let's say um turn on the computer that's our quest let's make it large centered show border off and background color clear that is our quest we put it over the claptrap and now we set the text to set text visible when receiving from channel one so if we press the button here this text appears and if you press the second button, this text should disappear. So we go uh, back here and make it text uh, hidden when receiving from channel two. So our next device is the uh, hot message device. We place it here. Let's set it to time from round start to off. Display time three seconds. Text style large, text uh, message type critical, placement top center. And that's it. That's our hot device for the claptrap. And here we need a one, another one for the computer. The first one says our quest. Turn on the oh, turn on the computer. And the second one says go back to claptrap. And uh, the first one should be uh, show when receiving from channel one. So if we press channel one here, this hot message is showing up. And here we have a channel two. So this message should show up when we set it to channel two. Now let's add some sound effects. Here we, we're going to the speaker device. Place it here. Place it here. Let's say S and A. There's everything is cool. Activate uh, on hit no. Now we copy it back to here. So that's the sound effect that uh, starts to play when we activate the quest. So let's uh, keep it here. S and A is okay. And activate when receiving from channel one. The second sound effect should uh, start playing when we press this button and we are done with the quest. So let's go here to, let's say, game over and enable activate when receiving from channel two. Now we need something that shows our quest. Let's go here and, and take the yellow light column that shows us where the quest is. It's at the computer. 
and the blue one shows us where our reward will be. Let's say next to Claptrap. So the settings for the um, light columns is the second one at the computer says enable when receiving from channel one. So if you press this button, this light column shows up and we have to disable it when we press in channel two. So if we activate the computer, this disappears. The blue light column should uh, just uh, be visible uh, so enable and receive from channel 2 so if you press this button the blue shows off and we know okay it's over here now we need a reward let's uh, take the bacon here as a as a reward so the bacon should be bum, bum, bum. visible on game start off so we don't have we don't want to see it at the game start uh, turn visibility on when receiving from channel 2 so if we press the uh, button over here and it sends to channel 2 this the bacon here will be uh, visible and when collected transmit on channel 3 so if you collect it the blue light column should be disabled so disable when receiving from channel 3 I think that's all from now. The main thing should be okay right now. Now all we have to do is we have to disable everything so we don't see it from the start. So we go over, we're going to the text here. Let's make it um, enabled, disabled. Also the blue light column should be disabled. Also the gold light column should be disabled. So yeah, that should it. Let's uh, that should it be. Let's test it. Okay, that looks good. There's our quest. Let's go to Claptrap interact with it with him. Turn on the computer, okay. There is the yellow light column. Let's go over here interact with Go back to claptrap there is now our bacon if you collect it the blue uh, light column uh, disappears and so you're done that's a uh, that's a quest uh, it's pretty simple if you understand how the channels works and everything i know guys it's a little bit complex so i will fade in a small sketch i also made where you can see uh, what channel should interact with uh, what device and everything uh, press pause uh, if you want to have a closer look to it I think here you can see it maybe a little bit better uh, I hope it helps you have a look at it uh, I will fade it in right now It is really cool for adventure maps, you can make quests, you can make an open world or something. I use this technique for my map Border Knight. Uh, I will uh, display the island code right now here somewhere, so you can play it, you can have a look at it, how it works and everything. I hope this small video tutorial helped you. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button, press the like button or whatever. Show it to your friends, whoever wanted, wants to make a, a quest or something, it could be useful for them. If you have any questions, uh, go to the comment section, drop me a comment or something. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative, guys.